Hey guys, so today we are going to revisit a favorite of mine, macaroons, and I'm going to make them green tea flavor. So here are all the ingredients that are necessary to make these shells. And I will list all the measurements in the bottom bar below. So first, I am going to add the green tea powder to the powdered sugar and mix that with the almond meal. Mix all of the three ingredients together and sift it. After the mixture is finished sifting, just set it aside and we'll use it later. In another bowl, I prefer using stainless steel to whip the meringues. Wipe your beaters and the bowl with distilled vinegar to remove any traces of oil. And we're going to whip our meringues. And we're just going to start with our lowest speed of the beater and gradually add in the sugar and salt mixture. The purpose of the salt is to stabilize the meringue and just to give the macaroons a little cake. And just beat the egg whites until it reaches firm peak or stiff peak. First, add in half of the almond meal and fold that into the meringue. Use the spatula to lift up the ingredients from the bottom of the bowl and fold that into the egg whites. It's like the egg whites are eating all the almond meal. When the first portion of the almond meal is folded into the meringue, add in the last portion. And just continue folding the almond meal into the egg whites. One of the trickiest part in my opinion to make macaroons is getting the right consistency for the batter. You are looking for a batter consistency like this. When the batter drops down to the bowl, it should settle within 10 to 15 seconds. After getting the right batter consistency, transfer it to a piping bag with a piping tip. And just pipe away. I prefer smaller macaroons because they are easier to cook and they don't take as long so they will still have that beautiful color you're looking for in a macaroon also they won't be undercooked after you are done piping give it a couple good taps on the bottom of the pan to remove any bubbles let it sit outside for about 15 to 30 minutes or until it's fully dry and bake it in a preheated 300 degree oven for about 15 minutes and just let it cool down and remove it from the silly pad. While they're cooling, let's make our buttercream for the filling. In a small saucepan, heat the water and sugar until it reaches 100 degrees Celsius. And just combine the green tea powder with a small amount of water until it becomes a paste. And just set that aside after we are done. When the sugar syrup reaches 100 degrees, break apart the egg yolks. And when it reaches 117, remove it from heat and gradually add into your egg yolks. And just beat it until it becomes a thick consistency and pale in color and gradually just add in the butter about a tablespoon at a time and that's how you make the buttercream basically at the end after we're done adding the butter i'm just gonna add in the green tea paste and mix that and that's our buttercream for the macaroon filling so these are the finished macaroon shells and i am going to line them up based on sizing just pair them up with a partner with one of my macaroon shell, I am going to pipe a little bit of the buttercream and top it off with its matching partner. And continue doing that until you are finished with every one of the macaroons. For this recipe, we actually don't need to mature the macaroons because it is actually very chewy and very delicious. So you can just serve it right away. And also, you can store it in an airtight container in a refrigerator for about 2-3 to three days 
and just eat one once in a while because it is so yummy that I can't wait to try one. In my definition, this is the perfect macaroon, crispy shell, and chewy center. I hope you guys enjoyed this video because I had tons of fun making it. And if you want, please subscribe to this channel for more of these yummy treats and follow me on Instagram for more daily updates. And now I'll see you guys next time. Do you guys check out my latest videos? On the right, we have this delicious chocolate molten lava cake. And on the left, we have this savory barbecue pork.